The year was 1988, and the school year was coming to a close. As was the custom spanning generations, the students were preparing to ask their fellow classmates to prom, and one person in particular was at the top of everyone's list. Audrey Valentine. Audrey Valentine. Captain of the cheerleading squad, a powerful academic and all-around good person, Audrey was a shoe-in for school valedictorian and prom queen. Only the night before, young Audrey was coming home from a disastrous date with a college guy. Normally, she wasn't open to dating older men, but he owned a truck. As she made her way to her front door, her life would be changed forever. As Audrey approached, the pulsing of the meteorite drew her closer. Upon contact, her body was infused by an alien life form, and she began to hunger. Enter Hamstring Howitzer, an all-star quarterback with an arm like, well, a howitzer. Hamstring was no stranger to victory, and although his mantle was adorned with trophies of his past accomplishments, there was one prize that still eluded the golden boy of the student body. Audrey Valentine. It seemed only natural that these two beautiful people living among the populace of the school would be destined to get together. Howitzer wasn't well loved by everyone. Charm and charisma can only take you so far, and sometimes success can breed animosity. Back up, baby, to win it, we go get it. Howitzer's arch nemesis, Rick Venison, also had eyes for young Audrey. A few stints in juvie had earned him the hardened reputation of a badass. Venison was what some people would call a touch freak. If anyone ever laid a hand on him, Venison would fly into a rage. He was always looking for trouble. However, things were unusual when Rick crossed paths with Audrey Valentine. In that moment when they touched, the very foundation of his life was shaken to the core. He began to see a future far different from the destructive path his life was headed down. A wife, a kid, and a life filled with happiness. It could all be so perfect. All he needed to do was turn his life around and be a good person. Rick Venison was left to contemplate turning his life around. As the hunger grew within Audrey, she located the chiseled hunk of man meat, hamstring howitzer, and made her move. Here, alone, howitzer planned to ask Audrey out, and Audrey planned to feed. Audrey continued her mission across the school, and Rick Venison happened to be in his usual spot. Melvin Miferone was the resident intellectual at the school. He even tutored Audrey in the one class that gave her trouble, microbiology. Awkward and shy, Melvin wasn't as experienced as either Howitzer or Venison when it came to the ladies. He approached Audrey, and with another meal standing right in front of her, young Valentine prepared to feed. Things didn't go as planned. The previous evening, Miferon was watching the meteor shower. His life, too, was about to undergo a metamorphosis. The two stood face to face, and Melvin began to interact in an intricate dance native to the life forms living on the meteorite. In that moment, the two became meteor-crossed lovers. Unfortunately, this pristine moment was not slated to last forever. As the alien life forms on the meteor began to hunger again, they ravaged the town with their insatiable appetite. 
So you see that guy breakdancing with the broken arm? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs>